If you belong to a gym, you might want to check your bank account to see if they're still charging you that monthly membership fee. Call 6 Investigates' Kara Kenny found policies vary greatly in terms of how gyms are handling COVID-19. The YMCA has locations all across central Indiana, and they're closed right now because of COVID-19, yet members are still being charged unless they opt out. The Y says they're using that money to provide child care for essential workers and to do food distribution and blood drives. Jessica Falvey works out at Orange Theory in downtown Indy. At least she did before COVID-19 hit. I do miss it, and I cannot wait till they, till I can go back. I never thought I'd miss a treadmill or a rower, but I definitely am. Orange Theory immediately froze her membership amid the pandemic. I just reached out to freeze it for 30 days because I wasn't sure how long this was going to last. And they were like, oh, no, we're doing it for you um, for as long as this lasts. So you don't have to worry about it. Call 6 Investigates checked around and found most gyms are freezing charges. And if they did charge you, are extending membership benefits for the amount of time the gym is closed. Orange Theory told us, we know this is a time of uncertainty for everyone. And the last thing we wanted to do was add more stress to our members. During this time, no membership dues are being charged. And any sessions that were paid for prior to our closing will remain on members' accounts upon reopening. The YMCA is still charging members unless they contact the Y and ask not to participate. The Y and other gyms are offering online classes as a way to help their members while their facilities are closed. The Attorney General's office has received a handful of complaints so far about gym memberships. The AG's office says gyms may fall under the Health Spa Services Act, which entitles you to a refund for days the gym was closed. If you feel your gym wrongfully charged you while they were closed during COVID-19, you can file a complaint with the Indiana Attorney General's Office at indianaconsumer.com. Reporting in Indianapolis, Kara Kenny, RTV6. Well, the YMCA released a statement this afternoon pointing out that they are a nonprofit and saying they're thankful to their members and donors who are sticking with them. For a list of gyms and their policies, you can go to this story on the RTV6 app or at our website, theindychannel.com.